It was an active late morning and early afternoon across parts of central Illinois as severe storms that looked really scary sounded scary and left behind a lot of damage across parts of central Illinois. Let's take a look at what's happening right now because things have calmed down considerably from what the radar looked like just a few hours ago as a long line of bowed echo of thunderstorms raced across. Every one of those little icons, that's a storm damage report. 171 of those that you're looking at on your screen there, and a lot of them right here into central Illinois. Much cooler with the rain that moved through. Readings in the 60s now, but guess what? There could be more storms on the way. We're tracking the next round, and we'll have that coming up. WCA3 News starts right now. You're watching your local news leader. This is WCIA3 News at 6. It's the scene for much of central Illinois this evening, from Farmer City to Toledo, Chatham to Ridge Farm, and everywhere in between. Communities all over are cleaning up the mess from today's storms. Good evening, I'm Marley Capper. And I'm Jennifer Roscoe. What's left behind tonight are downed trees, damaged cars, and tens of thousands across our viewing area without power. We have team coverage for you tonight. WCI3's Cole Henke is live in Sangamon County. Our chief meteorologist, Kevin Lighty, here in our weather center, and Amanda Brown in rural Champaign County. We're going to start with Cole. Okay, so what did you see when you were out checking damage? Well, there is extensive damage throughout Chatham and most of Sangamon County because of these storms. Right now, I'm towards the center of town here in Chatham, and you can almost trace the path of the storm here. Behind me, you can see some pretty extensive damage. This Masonic Lodge here in Chatham, the roof completely torn off and it flew over all the way onto this church right next door. People have been cleaning it up all day, trying to clear off the roof, patch it up, and, and just get the debris out of the way in case some more weather happens to come through. But after the roof got torn off, there was still extensive damage to the inside of the Masonic Lodge as well. Temporarily, but the inside is also, it's a mess. It's, uh, it's not that the uh, inside roof is completely missing, but a lot of water got through and a lot of plaster and stuff was laying all over. Now, the other thing that you can see driving around central Illinois are downed power lines everywhere, and it's resulted in a lot of power outages. According to Ameren, Illinois, central Illinois, 169,000 Ameren customers right now without power, according to their latest numbers. And up in Springfield, where they have the city operated, city water, light, and power, they have extensive outages as well. Nearly 40,000 customers up there out of power. That's almost 50% of their base. So, like I said, extensive damage all throughout this part of the state. Reporting in Chatham, I'm Cole Hanke, WCIA3, your local news leader. And that power loss, not good for uh, some pumps that need to keep working, uh, air conditioners because it's warm and fans. All right, Cole, thank you so much. The storm also caused damage to Willard Airport. That's right, you're taking a live look as, rep as crews are just finishing repairing parts of the roof that winds ripped off. The winds also caused a power outage there. All commercial flights are canceled while the building is being repaired. A few people were outside when the shelf cloud rolled in. They say they witnessed quite the show. Next thing I knew, the, there was a uh, see that picnic bench over there. That was way over in the like on the other side of the parking lot, and I saw that lift and just go flying. And then that's, I mean, at that point, they started they were pulling some people in, and I saw someone needed help, so I, I directed one of the airport people to, to help out with the person that was struggling. To get Part of the ceiling also fell, letting large amounts of rainwater pour onto the terminal floor. Officials say there's no timeline for those repairs. Kevin, there's quite the afternoon for you and your team today. Are we finally in the clear? We're in the clear for now, but there are more storms that are set to move in for tomorrow morning. But that damage, you know, we were, we were, we're trying to cover as many areas that we can but so many of you had damage. Uh, the power lines down that we've been kind of talking about here, even our own Brett Barron's backyard, he had trees down. But look at this. Oh man, you just hate to see it. These farmers that have uh, been dealing with the drought conditions, this is in Pesodum, some of that corn, 
laid down there. Now, sometimes it can bounce back depending upon how bad the winds were, and we'll see. But not good. And there you go. That's Oakland. More uh, grain bins that uh, have been destroyed there. And then St. Joe. So many of those trees. And I got to tell you, uh, you know, not just the trees there, but look at some of these really I mean, it's a healthy looking tree. That's a big tree right there. That was in the uh, Springfield area. And then, of course, all of those power lines. That's down in Pena. And a lot of times, the way this goes, you'll get one that will snap. The tension on those power lines are, is incredible. And it'll snap the next one and then the next one down the line. You can see several of those there. Power crews out and about doing their best to try to restore power. Um, I'm one of those customers um, at, at my home and mom that still doesn't have power. Haven't had it here uh, since this afternoon. And uh, dealing with the same issue so many other people are. AC, uh, refrigerator, you know, what are you, what are you doing here? So uh, touching, touching home here to, to me here as well. So uh, a lot of damage out there and there's still more storms to come. We'll talk about that coming up. All right, Kevin, thanks for your work today. We continue our team coverage this evening with WCI3's Amanda Brennan. She's live in Sydney. That's where people are already cleaning up the damage left behind from those strong winds. Amanda, one neighbor came home to something he never imagined. That's right, Mike Roy was at work in Champaign when his wife called him. She was scared in the basement and said that she heard glass breaking. Then when it was safe to come out, this is what she saw. I'm going to step out of the way for you here. This is their house and look at the side of it right through the top. This is at 100 plus years. Lots of memories. Now his family's busy contacting insurance agencies. They don't have power. They're trying to safely cut down the branches that they can get to from the ground. It just takes time to get with all the other damage around town and there's some other homes that are damaged, you know, we're one of a number, I'm sure. And the big thing is to get power back on and, you know, streets opened and, you know, get people safe. He also works with the emergency service department here in Sydney, so I asked if anyone was hurt. He says right now everyone is okay. Now, I also checked in with the dairy there a couple of hours ago when we were looking at all of the damage throughout Sydney. I talked to the owner there while she was out picking up branches. She says that they don't have power. I just checked in with her via text. They're still out of power. If they don't get it restored soon, that means they can lose their products. Definitely a big hit here in Sydney. It's a place that people love to spend their summers. You can still hear around me coming down and the cleanup is just getting started. For now, reporting live in Sydney, I'm a man. WCIA 3 News Leader. All right, Amanda, thank you so much. And of course, dozens of other communities were rocked by the weather this afternoon. Head on over to our website, WCIA.com. Right now, we have an article on our homepage where you can see all of your photos from all over central Illinois. We'll also have more coverage of the storms for you in our second half hour and, of course, tonight at 10.